YouTube buddies. Didn't we, Chrissy? Oh, yes. <laughs> you guys, we are on a super fantastic, fun, awesome, extravagantly, not really, but super exciting adventure. And we're <laughs> going to take you guys with us if you want to come. So, we are in Arizona and we just dropped off our little fur baby. You guys know him as Tonka. We've changed his name to Groucho Barks. Groucho Barks. Groucho Barks, because he is an old man. You guys, he's gonna be 11 next month. He my baby. He was a little puppy so long ago. Yep. He gets to visit grandma. He gets to visit grandma for a couple of days. And um, so we uh, just dropped him off and now we're on the way to the airport. I'm excited. I get to see a bunch of my family I haven't seen in a long time. Chris is meeting a bunch of my family For that he's time. never met before. And so that should be a lot of fun. The pressure's on. Yeah. Are you excited? Oh yeah. Are you nervous? No, not too much. Yeah. Not too much. Come along with us if you want to and let's fly to Louisiana. Stage works. Yeah, and they're actually filming in there for the TV show Salem. And my uncle hooked us up. He knows the guy who owns the building. So we're going to go walk around and we're going to see all the interior sets of the show. And I'm super excited yep. because it's kind of our Give us thing. some ideas. Yeah, exactly. Look at some real stuff and some cool props. Definitely. Unfortunately, now, though. Yep, we can't take pictures and can't film in there. So, But we'll be out to tell you guys all about it. All right, guys, let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, that was so awesome. It was really, really cool. That, wow. Yeah, it was, It basically, it was all the interior shots of all the houses that are on the show. The exterior is somewhere else on the property around here. 45 um, minutes away. Yeah, and uh, it, it was really cool. They had very lots of detail. Uh, Gina liked the saloon. They had a really cool saloon. Like a pub. It was so cool. The fireplace in there was amazing. If you've seen the show, it was so cool to they, see in person. They had person. a whole outdoor area with yeah. solid woods. They, they had, had a ship. They had yep. forest, a huge forest, and then they had like a witch's forest area. Yeah, there was um, a there was even a room that had like tons of like old cannons and and yeah, that uh, was they, a boat. It, it was it was really really cool. I mean, we had so there was so much. I, we had to have a flashlight because yeah, a lot of the lights were off. Yeah, it was dark because the lights were off and everything, so it even added to the ambiance. It was like cobwebs. Oh, yeah. Sorry guys, we're still driving. But <laughs> oh my gosh, I wish we could have taken pictures. But if you guys haven't seen the show, definitely maybe go online and check out some of the set yeah. on there because it's definitely up the haunter's alley for sure. But alright you guys, I think we saw a cemetery yeah, we did. on our way here. So let's go see if we can find it again. <laughs> so we're driving back to our hotel and we saw a cemetery right the here cemetery. we're gonna pull in see if we can see some stuff is it open it's oh, open it's open for business greenwood cemetery here Ooh. we go Ooh, look at that mausoleum already score all right let's go check them out Right 
It's almost like it's come back up too, splashing from the mud. It's kind of cool, huh? The cracks. Yeah, it's them patching it. You think there's a body in there? Underneath. <laughs> well, I think that lid is a little big for the bottom there. Yeah, I wonder if it moved or if they just didn't measure twice cut once. <laughs> Norman and his mom. Some men just want to take everything with them, even their tools. Look at these hinges. Little stars. It's definitely a first. Wow, 1905, 1892. Whatever adhesive they used, it didn't work. Is that great stuff? I love looking at the last names on tombstones, like you got McNutt. Dance. Barbie. And Looney. All right guys, so when I was a little girl, my mom had this character called Martha Gooch, and my brother and I would be getting ready for bedtime, and my mom would say, you better get in bed, because Martha Gooch is coming to, uh, to tuck you guys in. We're like, who's Martha Gooch? And she's like, oh, she's this old woman, and she's gonna come and tuck you guys in and tell you a story. And we're like, okay, so we got in bed, and then this lady comes in and she was super scary to us, but I was like petrified and frightened and she would come and talk to me and she'd be like, hello, little girl, I'm gonna read you a bedtime story. And she did and she'd go, give me a hug. And I'd give her a hug and then <laughs> growing up, mom would always tease me. She goes, oh, Martha Gucci's gonna come. And I was terrified of her. Well. Turns out it was my mom and she'd put a nylon stocking over her head and she'd come in. Ugh. So that was my childhood. But anyway, I thought it was funny because I just found this. So I'm assuming Martha Gooch is dead and this is where she lies. We're getting ready to walk in the church. This is a, a church that uh, has been here for a while and that steeple up there actually blew off in a hurricane one year fell down on this intersection, landed on a car. He's now known in the town of Shreveport as the Steeple Man. Oh, so did you just tilt up against the water on the road? Oh, yeah. Charge! <laughs> Charge! <laughs> you didn't have this, did you? No, I didn't.
to the parking lot. We are going to the antique mall here in Shreveport. And she's excited. I'm excited. Chris says he's never been to an antique mall, so well, I not, don't know how. Not here. Well, not well, here or one in LA, but everything's already been bought for lower price and marked at a very high price, oh, yeah. so it doesn't really feel the same. So right? we're gonna we're gonna compare prices here and compare products and see what they got here. Yeah. Here. See if we can find anything. Yeah. Maybe a little Halloween spooky stuff. Maybe it'll already be aged and rusted and yes. old so Gina doesn't have to bust out her little tricks to try to do it. <laughs> All right, let's go check it out. in Tucson, Arizona. I'm excited because I get to see my mom and my doggy and gas is $1.28 here. Dude, that is amazing. I think California needs to follow suit. I'm just saying. So we're going to totally fill up our gas here and uh, we're going to go eat lunch with my grandparents since we're here for one more day and uh, just so I can hug them and smell them and kiss them and get a little quality time in them with whenever I can. So uh, yeah, we're gonna go eat some lunch right now and uh, thanks for coming along our trip with us. And Chris is getting the gas right there. And uh, yeah, okay guys, take care. Oh sure, now he's just showing off for you guys. <laughs> 